Welcome to the data profiling demonstration. We'll start by taking a legacy application, the eChain ERP application, and profiling it. So here is the application. Once the profiling is completed, we will be able to see all the tables that have successfully been profiled, all the characteristics of the unknown tables, in terms of relationship between one table and another, along with all the field properties and what each field could be when mapped to the target application. Some examples of target applications being Oracle, SAP, IBM, Manhattan, etc. So we'll go into the table summary and pick the object SCM items. It gives us all the characteristics and it figures out the composite and unique indexes. It tells us that, for this particular table, composite uniqueness lies within warehouse ID and item ID. All the reference columns that have been used in all the other tables are listed here as well. String, date, number, constant, not null, null, are some of the statistics available for us. We can also drill down into the column level with Column Profiler. Let's select the column Demand Time Fence. It gives us the field count as 2610. All the stats are shown here. Because these are number value columns, we have a list of aggregate function values like sum, average, min, max, etc. We can see here that the majority of values are zero. As for data type, it is mostly short, with the small percentage being null. In pattern, we can see the percentage of what kinds of patterns it has. So from the table, we are able to drill into the columns and see statistics for each and every column. Based on table data, the system can derive relationships between tables. Here we have the Entity Relationship Diagram, which will be very useful for us to identify and understand not just one table, but the entire application. This holistic approach will be extremely useful when we try to map the source application over to the target application, particularly when the source application is unknown. Finally, with object mapping, we'll see how the object was mapped against the target application. When we have a modern application like Oracle, SAP, IBM, Manhattan, etc., the target application data model is quite known, and we have a repository of all this information available in our platform to help identify the data. So using our machine intelligence, we figure out all the probabilities of the source application data classifications. You can see here, we ran the whole algorithm. Finally, we can see all the mapped columns. Algorithms are derived based on dictionary, lookups, and the business rules. Dictionary means we look at the probability of specific metadata occurrence, based on table name or field name. Based on that, we can build and include the idea that this particular column could be, for instance, an item number or an ABC analysis classification. Lookups are where the algorithm looks at the values within the fields. We have collected all sorts of values over the years, and these values will be compared against the source application field values. When App Visualize finds a certain percentage of matches, it will identify the column as an immediate probable match. The third strategy is completely open. We can write as many pattern recognitions or business rules as we want, such as for a social security number or bank number. All these things put together gives us the intelligence to determine what each column is. Then we can map it against the modern target application. So this tool 
is a crucial part of data migration and data integration for your business. Thank you for watching and have a great day.